Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Chop Chop Diaries and today I have with me a very special uh, guest duo. I'm blushing because uh, the girl here is a very good friend of mine and she has finally convinced the boy here to join us <laughs> for the show today. So it's my pleasure to introduce and welcome on show today my dearest friends Lemmy and David. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Thank you for Thank having you. us. It's so good to have the both of you. Are you too nervous? You're not. I know. I'm not. I'm, nervous. I'm super nervous. I think I'm the one blushing. <laughs> <laughs> He's never done this before. Don't be nervous. It's just a quick chitty chat show where we are just trying to get to know you guys better. That's all that we're doing. Okay, so Lemmy, how does it feel to be back on this show? Amazing. A lot has really? changed for yeah, me. Actually. A lot has changed for you. Yeah, definitely. Last time I remember when we spoke three or four years back, you spoke about your makeup line, how you wanted to have something like that. And now it's out there, so I'm going to start now. with that. So how does it feel with Pastel Beauty? How did you go about with it? How does it feel now, post Pastel Beauty? How is There's a lot right of... It's, it's, re it's a really uh, beautiful thing. It, um, it's my dream project. And uh, so it's been a year. Uh, it's not that easy. I feel so like this is a lot of ups like a lot of ups and downs and stress and sleepless nights. But our uh, audience are better. My customers, my viewers, my followers, uh, they've been loving me and my products and supporting me. So this let's say that keeps me going. And the results are really so cheap. And then it's the way I'm product company and I mentioned the response when he was really good. Moving forward, let's come to you guys. Talk of the town for a very, very long time now. Okay. Let's talk about how you guys actually first came to know about each other because you come from very different backgrounds. No connection before, because I know a lot about her, so mm. there's not really any secret here, you know? Yeah. So how did you first come to know about each other? Anybody can answer first. I think yeah. you should start, no? I should start. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm Ritzy. I think back in 20... 18 I mean, we both were single and this was she I'm Sati Asta Asta and Shuangi you know they say been single they are not so that they care but a boyfriend born on a person or a born on a person born that one that oh exana tall one it was gonna I'm Leo okay and you wanted this to interest at the you know because I was working in Bombay and I was like you know jogging here and there and he let you get a bit to another one in a pony and he asked I let's say I'm like Bully, a date 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 so, I was traveling to Bombay. 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 So, I was traveling yeah, so very, very similar, very similar. Also, and he yeah. I knew and I knew his height when he same once and I knew he was the most cutest half like me and he's someone that can't see me <laughs> but I knew back in my head of man chika soon the hen and so let's say he's so humble such a nice guy of kaka were soon he rahne ke moe let's see of a coach it is a kid at the hick open center but not the king of love but he's okay oh wow the hick open center I you know as well <laughs> I used yes. to talk about him so, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Every day, every day, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. i this was I don't know what story is from my side, so it was that. This was I saw his Facebook profile in the profile. And then I added him in Kashmir, a solo trip, a single girl enjoying her life. And somehow, his Facebook page came and I said, I'll add to him. And three days, I accepted him. And I said, I'm going to get to him. How dare you? I cancelled the request. Three days later, he added me again. So that's how it started. And then I was in Kashmir in December 3rd, Christmas. And then I texted him, Happy Merry Christmas, Tenzing, Manera Pathai. 
त्यसपछि हेरुपलाई नि क्रिसमस सकेको तिन चार दिनपछि मेरी क्रिसमस टी हेर्यो एन्ड देन अनि मैले चाहिँ त्यसको नम्बर मागौँ अब के कुरा गरौँ भनेर झन् झन् लामो अब बोल्नु खोजेँ होइन अनि मलाई त सिनमा छोडिदियो छ महिनासम्म दिस इज नट वी रिहर्स बिफोर सो आई आई त्यसपछि मैले त्यो अब क्रिसमस पार्ट मैले मेसेज पठाइसकेपछि चाहिँ अनि स्टोरी Um no I, I, again everybody knows Lemmy right so you, like uh, okay I have two brothers I don't have sisters so there wasn't a lot of makeup in our home so yeah. we didn't really know a lot of makeup artists per se but everybody kind of knows who Lemmy is uh-huh. so I knew who she was Ani and then uh, when Asta tried to set us up for a, a coffee date then of course I would yeah I would love to go out with Lemmy you know like who wouldn't I mean she's beautiful <laughs> um But yeah so I I fell sick that day and then I asked her asked her like can we do another day and then she said no she's leaving for Mumbai next day so of course we never got to meet after that the first plan you know first plan theta um but yeah I yeah I didn't have facebook or instagram or anything for quite a long time um so also I had to convince him for I think 5 6 months to come to the show yeah that I know yeah cuz he's not into any of this Very reserved. Uh, oh, well, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not very charismatic. I'll put it that way. No, so. no, you are. You were just not very <laughs> socially out there. Yeah, yeah. Social yeah. platforms. So then you didn't have any social social media handles. Yeah, I, I did after a while. So around Christmas time, I think I I got my Facebook reactivated or my Instagram or something, and then uh, I posted. Christmas gay because we do Christmas at home so mom's Belgian so we do Christmas is a nice big thing at our house with like the family and everything so i posted something on uh, like that we were you know, decorations at home or something like that was and she replied to one of those yeah, yeah. saying merry christmas david and i've never spoken to her directly through us down <laughs> in the past so that's when she said merry christmas and of course i'm a grandma that we're like christmas is happening and so of I'm a little bit slow with replying to my messages yeah, yeah, but that is that is for everything see. not just mine abo if you message him i know we it can type good be sure when you did need some vision oh ah. shit i have to reply. get a uh, reply one yeah. once because yeah. now i know that this the boy got here one era yeah so basically not very active person on social media yeah, yeah. and i'm terrible with messages also like yeah. if i tongue at home in message but have and it's a i remember like and then it's done but then sometimes i type and then like something else pops up you know like while you're typing some notification comes up or something and then you're like you know you, you you get distracted and all of a sudden you realize that you're still typing for like the next 4 days or something so anyway so she's always held that against me <laughs> now i know him so it's okay 6 months so, later i'm still typing so <laughs> finally it worked out feel it worked out for the two of you and he the person on a beat no boy you know and now you guys are in a relationship so i wanted to ask you like First time of a beat boy and whenever that was what was the first impression of each other when you guys met for the first time Do you want to start with Shirai? I think you should start for it. She start. doesn't stop talking much. <laughs> 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 Just talk about you on her. Mala bori la par. No, the the first time I saw her like I felt like she was full of energy. I still do because she's like full of energy and like very very optimistic, very happy and uh I, well I call her chirpy. So she's like you know how like a bird is very chirpy in the morning and like always what well, except she's not very a uh, morning person but she's very happy and active all the time. I'm a little bit different in the sense that I'm very like reserved and low key and then like when she's like chirpy I kind of try to match that energy. So it's just, um yeah when I first met her she was she's she was that person happy. yeah and I was like oh I, I need to be happy here as well I need to be and so there's a lot of fun uh the first time I met her so I thought yeah this is What what did you feel when you first met him? It was love at first sight. But first time that your still was love at before sight. Before, before, before I even saw him, no. Yeah. Tar tyo din se abo I saw him and Shivangi was there mere side ma and this is thakke India hai na so we went to terraces and this but he was supposed to 
ಹೋಟೆಲ್ <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so love at first sight won't there is that means i can clearly tell looking at this girl that love at first sight really happens for a reason i don't even heard about it before. and you know what i said next day what i'm going to marry you in the next three years you actually said that to him you she he was like what <laughs> she actually said, said that to you yeah it was a bit scary <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> See that's what I meant by the chirpy and reserved and I was like Did you jump off the terraces? <laughs> Did jump off the terraces? Yeah. There's yeah. a there's a thought in my head. Well, I was I'm going to get married to you in the I'm going to marry you in 3 years and it was like Why is specific? <laughs> so of course I need to do my social media. Why were you so sure? Like How should we arrive in that? No, but you guys know. I I she wanted to marry you even before she met you. I'm sure you know this by now. Thanks for the head up. <laughs> <laughs> long before she even met you yeah. but beti sagi pa she like you know how how do you have that conviction that this is the guy for you how do you know you just know look at him <laughs> you just know you just know okay i'm so happy for you Thank that you. you know okay now moving on see a lot of people want to lo- know a lot of things about you cuz those are the only questions i get because you've kept him like a mystery man for a very long time and so we'll get to that question also but before we go there So when you started dating and you know before about him imagine got a certain expectation to around about him in your head right for the past 4 years almost that David is like this David is like this I'm going to marry him in 3 years in Italy so expectation versus reality key boy key the things change a little bit as you got guys got to know each other got closer got to know each other more in detail how is the relationship now I would do so about the first about 5 6 months what you think you get to know of Mazzalini so um it's very mature right now kati kura ekdam ramro pun sa socheko bhanda pun ramro kati kura bit annoying we talk about I'm going to rephrase the youngest question I think she's asking are you still sure yeah <laughs> 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 uh expectations one that he did say a bit different than what i expected but i like it and then i like it even more of than he's better than what i expected one on so beginning mm-hmm. dating phase but uh i like time some out that he what has changed in your relationship and i'm not saying in bad ways okay you know you guys grew together so are there things about him you didn't know that you learned but she was tired things about her that you learned with tari so how how has that experience been i still get butterflies oh So the bike seat is that kasa chai na we know abo usko mood kasto huncha kati khera ke kura mala resort cha mala ke kura ma resort cha bhanera ulai chai ekdam e ma ta ekdam e ami ekdam opposite cha ke u chai ekdam serious ekdam reserved man ma ta pata 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 kaam gari rakhnu pani jati khera complain gari oh i need to go i need to do this i need to do that dherai gari ra hai na ulai resort cha hai na so i don't do that ani u dherai react gari na bhane mala resort cha so we try to balance that ke that's because you guys have completely different personalities different it's completely different abo amro he is a physiotherapist and i am a makeup artist is completely opposite and i am a personality bin this thing so let me ask you the second part of this question then so with such different personalities how do you find balance uh i think just because we're such different personalities that the balance comes from there so because okay. on like i said right in the beginning i'm very sort of reserved and if, because of her energy i'm like okay you know like i want to match that right i want to like she's always happy so i kind of want to be happy as well so it kind of pushes me to sort of explore more and um but because i'm so kind of reserved and sort of i think like 100 times before talking so she kind of 
matches that sometimes as well where uh, you know like she's very um on the spot spontaneous sort of with her emotions with uh, with expressing herself and so as well and uh, she kind of gets every now and then gets a reality check but even though she's not with me sometimes <laughs> that she realizes oh maybe I shouldn't have done that or maybe I shouldn't have said that to whoever so, so I'm like that and he's very so chera ne bolnu parne ki sahaj chori sochcha ani mate ulke decision linchha mate pahila garse then i regret ki so we try to <laughs> I like how i just left nepal there <laughs> without really thinking so it's like that okay so now coming to you uh, like we spoke about how you made him the most burning sensation of the country for a while by putting an emoji on his face every time you posted his picture even i would get dms to reveal them his boyfriend's picture and i thought tabara tha hola ni dikhaunu chan dikhaunu chan mera so you actually did shake up the social media for a while by not mm-hmm. showing his face you know so what was the whole reason behind doing that and finally what made you reveal his face सो भेटने बि उसे के भे थे हमारे बच्चा को मेरे फेस सोशल मीडिया में नदेखा तस्ते डाइरेक्टली तो भे थे बट हिज नट कम्फर्टेबल सो मैं अब ये मन पे मैं ओके आई मेट हिम सो आई वॉन्ट टू शो अफ लाइक ओके भेरी एक्सप्रेसिव के मैं जे अब देखा हाल्न पाखी हाल्न पर्चा छो कि मन में राख् नसक्ने है सो I wanted to post, but अब उ अब फेस नदेखाओ पैला तो उसको आई हेड टू रेस्पेक्ट हिज प्राइवेसी एंड हि डिट वॉन्ट टू बी आउट देर ल अब देखा न मुख में अब इमोजी हाल दी सो नो वन्स गो नो देर गो नो दैट आई हेव अ बोय फ्रेंड बट देर नट गो नो हु सो ते भर राखी राखे लास्ट में तो मेरे लाइफ ही भैन कि मेरे सोशल मीडिया में तो एवरी डे आई टू वेक अप टू टेन ट्वेंटी डिफ्रेंट मेसेजेस to sending his brother's pictures ke okay? you should attack the other tenzing david <laughs> that old man that old guy so usko dai ko photo haru pathaera oh i found your boyfriend a bichara malai kasto naram lai every day they were like researching ke ko che ho ko che ho bhanera a lot of them found out and kati le che yeah like nima dai da like photo haru pathaera aunthe haina so it's not him ani ati ni bhai sakera che we were in dubai ani apo पब्लिसिटी मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी वॉज इट I was just private for 27 days. Oh, like get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I live in Uskar Nam. Tag no gara bansa. Photo ra ke pani don't tag his Instagram because he's always deleting his Sally Nani requests every day. Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't want like the mula public man see a lot of attention. Chhod chhod hi dena. Yeah, I like. He wants to. Yeah. He wants his privacy. Yeah. <laughs> so but tag ko photo pani don't allow in future. Well, that's a choice you guys will make when you guys will yeah, have babies, and I hope that's very very soon. Mm-hmm. because from what i hear he has the baby fever right <laughs> ah, the baby here he has my fever <laughs> okay now move to david i mean after you got together with lemmy that's when even i got to know a lot about you and we met but then there are a lot of people who don't know a lot about you so let's take this opportunity to let our viewers know so who's david let's talk a little bit about your childhood the things that you like you don't like your hobbies interests so let's let them know a little bit about um, david wow that's a it's a very wide topic um <laughs> <laughs> so um uh, i've got two brothers uh, My mom's Belgian, so that's kind of where the height comes into play. Yeah. Um, and we grew up here. We all kind of went to school here, and only university to Belgium I'm gonna get. And then like I came back and I did physio there. So I'm a physiotherapist, but um, because of the hotel and so I haven't been able to work as a physiotherapist a lot. But I still have my clinic, and my colleague looks after patients, and every now and then I still do that. Um, and yeah, it's. Again in my family it's all boys so we kind of grew up with sports and like mom's a big big sports fan so everything's like very boys. I met somebody who loves football. I do. I do. I uh, yeah so I I still do. <laughs> and she kind of asks me sometimes if I love football more than her and I feel like it's a very unfair question and you know, every man out there will always say it's a very cycles more than me and he says it to my face every day. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows. <laughs> He's a brave man then. He's a brave, <laughs> he's a brave man. I'm sure he suffers in his own ways <laughs> for saying those things but 
<laughs> so, so you love sports. What else? What What else are your hobbies? Uh, things that you like? I read somewhere you like traveling. Uh, Meeting I, people of different cultures. I do, I do. I'm Why did you read all this? Yeah. I did a lot of research for my show. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even know it was out there. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, I, I do I do love traveling um, because I mean uh, now I'm sort of settled in Nepal a lot more it's been 10 years since I came back and uh, I work here and have my practice here so I'm not as free as I used to be uh, when I was a student so I could travel a lot more but I still enjoy uh, exploring I mean, she loves traveling so ever since I met her that's one of the things that's kind of brought me balance as well because I I felt like I've been here for a long time and not sort of yes, felt stuck. Some to do all the day. Like, <laughs> 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 so I met her and like already, you know, like I hadn't been traveling for a long time and then met her and went three times already out of the country. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. So, and it's nice. It's, uh, that's that's yeah. kind of what I like about her as well. She's just like, let's just do it. What's stopping you? And I think, oh yeah, actually, what is stopping me? Um, so yeah, and uh, again, meeting people of different cultures. And so that's just because I sort of come from different cultural backgrounds as well. So. I like talking to people with like a different mindset and like a, you know, just the way that people think in different places, it's, it's nice. And, yeah. It's like my mom and So I work work on or now the hell in here, work on TV, my football, and so on. And you have to iPad, my cycling, go to the video, and so on. Phone, my, do you get it? Or maybe tennis or kids. So she has like three screens. <laughs> To only watch sports? Sports. Everything. She's uh, Literally, I'm like, oh my god. Ah, <laughs> she's she's so a, they're like, very she loves into sports. sports. But um, sports. that's also because she moved here 40 years ago. And he did the hell as well. She said, I'm going to TV. I'm going to Star Plus. I'm going to Star Plus. I'm going to Star Plus. I'm going to Star and you want to care, and you sports glad, and you have a commentary, but I can at least enjoy the sports. Enjoy it, so yeah. she, she got into it that way, and I let her, like, she had like, a radio, my ears, and said, the Olympics, I went to Kaya, no Kaya, no. She's like, got so many things going on at the same time. Okay. So. Okay, moving on. One question which I'm sure you guys would knew that I would ask Ola because everybody wants to know what are the plans of marriage? When will you see you two married? If you have you thought about it? She don't wanted to get married to you before she even met you, but now that it's out there and practical, mm. so from a practical, logical point of view, where do you see yourselves? When when do you think you guys will be Mr. and Mrs.? Do you want to answer? Yeah. No. Okay. So I'm I'm look I'm ready. I'm settled. I'm you know I've, um, in terms of uh, ambitions, I'm somebody who's kind of not so ambitious as her. I'm very much baby fever and all of that. Um, so, but for her, I, I completely understand. She's still on a journey, like she still has lots of ambitions to achieve and so. So, um, yeah, it's in a couple of years time is what we've talked about. And uh, I still have I, to go on. yeah, she still has a few goals to achieve. And not that marriage would stop that. Yeah, definitely. But of course, when Things you commit to, different. Yeah, when you commit to each other, like in terms of marriage as well, it's, it's nice to know that you're sort of, you're there all the time for each yeah, other. And yeah. we are, but you know, but he supports me about mom. I want to still go out and work and achieve my goals. So he's really supportive. Then it's out and you take your time and see what's waiting for you out there. New experience and this which when you think you're done, then it's it's not gonna stop. This which you can still continue. And yeah. so it's it's me. No, if you get married, things will change. as a woman, it will change. Ni aliyel top this to uden amo. Bigger is again, but it's about four years and the million and the, you know, we might want to start a family and do. So I want to be ready and, you know, experience everything. I'm still planning to go out and work and for a few years. And mm -hmm. yeah, so that's works. kind of what I want for her as well. There might be a few new things developing later for her, yeah. but in a few years' time, hopefully, when you've felt like you've achieved. And I'm yeah. sure there's going to be more, yeah. but. Once I fulfill my dream. Uh, so my career is my, like, First priority, the marriage. So he supports that. Okay? So you you do it, Panera. So yeah, very supportive and mature. Yeah, that's amazing to know. Congratulations again, both of you, for finding each other. I must say that you guys look so gorgeous together. Can't wait to see your gorgeous little babies who will call me Auntie Auntie. I'm waiting for that day. And uh, thank you. Do you want me to call you Auntie? <laughs> Your baby, the baby that comes out of you. Okay. Thank you for taking time and letting us know you guys better. So this is the end of our first segment. We have another segment which is called Chito Chito Mito Mito Now.
<laughs> okay, welcome to Chito Chito Me Tomito. So in this segment, I'm just gonna ask both of you ten questions. I just reply. I just hope you guys give me honest answers quick. So because this is your first time, and I'm sure you're not as nervous as you were in the beginning. You kind of settled. I can see it in your face. Yeah. But we'll not just blushing as much. Because uh, she's a regular in my show. She's not that nervous. Okay, ready? Then. Three qualities you most love about David. Matured, supportive, intellectual. One person from media that's, that best describe that best represents these shades from your lipstick line, okay? Bold. From the media, give me someone who represents best. Ambitious. <laughs> ambitious. Uh, I think Neeti now. She's very ambitious. Graceful. Graceful is. Um, Media banana, like movie. It can be anyone, no. Media as in it can be designers, models. It's the time when the name on the name. That's why you have to be fast. Grace you can't help. You cannot help. It's a competition between the two of you. Ah, swastiman. Driven. Driven. Ah, ocean. Magical. Or Akram. Okay, your favorite hangout space in Kathmandu. In Kathmandu, ah, I like Astrid. Kathmandu, it's not Kathmandu. Yeah, okay. I'm just joking. I was going to say that. Astrid, whatever. Yeah, Astrid. Okay, one thing no one knows about Lemmy. I think everything's out there. I post my daily life and I'm saying something. So no, but maybe something that maybe few people know, but something that you don't talk about that much. I'm saying something that's a little hidden. You might have. I think this is the thing that I've liked him before I even met him. So like no one knows about three, four this. Four years before. Yeah. Shoot. Before I even saw him, I like fell in love with him. What is your strongest trait? Ah, <sighs> strongest trait. Can you help me with this? <laughs> I cannot. I did. <laughs> huh? <laughs> um. I think it's your energy. Really? Um. I need to say everything about being strong. I'm like I'm I'm talking about the strong person. No, no, just the energy. Am I energetic? I think. Yeah, very. Very energetic. Yeah. I feel very booty these days. I don't know if that. That might be my fault. What? Yeah, like energy and with the energy one. Okay. Have you ever? You answer in yes or no. Okay. Drunk dialed your ex. No. Never, never. I was blocked. Did you always block them? Okay, cheated in exams when you were there. Yeah, definitely many times. Lied to David. It can be the smallest white lie. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying like something major, big lie. You know. Not really, because he doesn't like. Are you lying right now? No. She's getting. She's getting hot now. I know. Questions are coming. Okay, I'm gonna do the answer. Have you ever stolen anything? Stolen his heart. Oh, oh, no, I, was, oh, no. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing as cheesy. Can you cut that? No. Oh oh my God. God. Okay, the worst criticism that you've ever faced. That will make me sane. Try something else. Try and create. Am I supposed to create Rukpat or Yali Mukha? <laughs> okay. Three things that I'm, I'm really I'm ready for this. It's okay, you're fine, Baba. Calm down, relax, calm down. Calm down. Channel your inner zen, come on. Yeah. Calm down. Okay. Three things that changed for you, as in the way you look at life or your personality. It can be any change, okay? After you started da dating David. Life is beautiful. It wasn't beautiful before you started dating him. No, when I was single, I always thought, oh, relationship was that heavy. Oh my God, there's like a lot of commitments. It's a lot of fun. You know, so we'll be together. But if you find a matured guy and very supportive, understanding, then it's it's like so your outlook towards love is changed. Yeah. Okay, that's one. You need two more. Two more. You're willing to accept help. Huh? You're willing to accept help in either point of view, like uh, independent and very, you yeah, are yeah, very independent, yeah, yeah, yeah. but... I'm willing to, uh, about his suggestions, so he's someone I look up to, so I mean, normally I'm sure because I'm opinion leader, so I listen to my thing about the city, um, 
like I respect him a lot and he's someone I look up to and I listen to. So you that had changed. Help, yeah, I take his help. That had changed. That's why I called you I was always still like, what the hell? Let me help you. Third is, uh, okay, I have become really calm and I don't know how to do it. Because his personality is this is okay. So he helped me to stay calm. I don't know how to react. So yeah, I think that's not a with you. I don't, we don't fight, we don't argue. We don't fight, we don't argue. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, okay, what is it? Okay, one last question. If you answer this really well, then you again have a lot of potential to win, okay? Because otherwise you didn't perform really, really well. It mm -hmm. was just okay, okay? But this oh is God. your redeeming point answer, okay? This is a competition, by the way? Yes. Oh, why am I helping okay. you then? <laughs> All right, one thing, Lemmy, one thing that men should know about women, but they don't. They should buy flowers to make them feel special. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Maybe. They think he thinks it's a waste of like oh, to bully waste way also. They cannot you going to put plant it in. So I wouldn't be excited getting a plant. <laughs> <laughs> that's the moment. You get me a flower. I feel so special, and that remains yeah, for life. Yeah. Sometimes guys feel like it's so high. Girls are so high maintenance. They even cushion on them. But you know, guys, it's all Simplest the small thing. things, Simple. like chocolates, like flowers. Give me a teddy bear. I don't want teddy bear. No, I mean. Flowers. <laughs> there are so many girls who might like it, but then these are small things. Small though, take, you know? He takes me on a date stuff, but then my life's like them flowers are dear when it's I'm really happy. So they should know that, you know. Girls like flowers. Yeah, flowers and they it might. understood? I very much, yes. Yeah. 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 I think that was more to you than for the rest of the yeah. people watching. Okay, let me. That was a very subtle hint. Calm down, sister. <laughs> you did pretty okay. Last time I got you calm down a little bit. Yeah, I, mean, oh, 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 I didn't even know what was coming. I didn't even know what was coming. Are you ready? Uh, I think so. Three things that you adore about Lenny. Uh, she's super duper ambitious, so I, I struggle to keep up with her sometimes. She's got so many ideas going on in her head, and I, yeah, I love it. Um, three things, right? Um, Second, Maybe lipstick could not one life and he always does that <laughs> No, but that's what you've done. You've like, well, the, all the new shades are all the compliments that I ever gave you. And then you just turn it into lipstick shades and now when I compliment you. Okay, name well, look at the explanation from the episode. Um, that, like, go get her. Again, she's very to the point. Okay? Like, she, uh, if she wants something, I mean, <laughs> yeah. case she's an example. But yeah, she's, she's not afraid to just like, go for it. And yeah. Yeah, we saw her. the biggest example of <laughs> going for something that she likes. <laughs> The third? So, um, and I like how calm she is, at least about, she tells me about how she was very explosive by Lata, that uh, I like how yeah, very mature she is, so I, I sometimes realize that I don't give her enough flowers, even though I get a lot of hints and I think, ah, oh, no, but I, I might go play football <laughs> way too much sometimes, but I feel like she, I always feel like, oh, if I was in her place, I would be pretty angry right now, I can, I can see that. But then, like, I come back to her, and then she's not like you know. Like, um, I, I don't complain. Yeah, you don't complain. So, uh, and I realize that that is actually more effective towards making me want to do Thanks. sort of yeah things for her and get her flowers because now she's not you know telling me to get them, uh, get her flowers because she it would make her happy you know like and then that's that's a nicer way of getting you know flowers because it would make her happy rather than about flowers right now. <laughs> I've heard the word flowers 18 times so far. <laughs> but okay, we, we feel you. Three things that you tolerate about Lenny. And it doesn't have to be in the bad way, you know? Things that you wish were a little different or she handled different. Um, it can be the smallest of habits. Like for me, he leaves his towel in on top of a pile of clothes every time he takes a shower. I tolerate that about him. We don't live together too much. I mean, She's still, your towel is wet. I can see you guys tolerate each other very <laughs> well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tolerate about her. Um, she's also very. Um, Messy. Messy. Yeah, I wanted to put that nicely, but maybe you're, you're messy. <laughs> like everything's everywhere. She couldn't find anything. I had to go buy a little stand today because the ones that she had, she couldn't find she last minute. Okay. So yeah. That's, careless. Yeah, careless and messy. Okay, that's one. That's one thing. Um, what do I tolerate? Uh, you putting makeup on me before. <laughs> Before putting me in front of the camera, <laughs> this is definitely not something I would. But that was the uh, the sample of Pascal yeah. Beauty King. That's true. So we were together, and I tried like was <laughs> face, yeah. mascara, and like stuff. <laughs> okay, that's the second one. Apparently, my eyelashes are beautiful. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> and number three, oh, I tolerate her eating habits. My goodness, she is spontaneous with her eating habits. She like one moment she'll want like chocolate, the other moment she'll want like laughing, the other moment she wants super pyro and. And I'm like very regimental with my food. I it's like my meal good. times and I like... Very cool when it comes to food. Khali cheese or root, so dinner, tira, mozi, peer, or the dal liquor, sign it, sign it, don't mille, mille, Okay, so, yeah. so that is another thing. All right, the best and worst part about being David is? Best and worst part? Mm -hmm. The same thing? No, it's different. Thing? Oh. What is the best part cool. and what is the worst part? Okay. I am... Um, I mean, I'll start with the worst part. I think you might agree that... What are you doing? How yeah. well, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So you meant my farting or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. Uh, no, no. Um, the the worst part would be that I I get into things too much. Like once I you know Ekoro. once something yeah uh, ekoro. Once I start doing something, I get into it and they they on also more. So that'd probably be the <laughs> yeah worst, the worst part. part. Um, but again, in the same way, I'm. Like I get satisfaction in the details, so that for me is <laughs> I, I enjoy that part. Yeah. Thing, yeah, basically. yeah, exactly. So, so I complete it. Go on, per se. Because the big group, when you walk, there is some cross point. Like, how can you like things? The matter is garden, no? That's why people say complete go on, per se. Okay. Why are you wasting your time? But then yeah. he gets his satisfaction. Okay, boy. Yeah. So two ways of looking at it. One boy, one boy, one in there. But then if you look okay. at it from like you focused okay. and yeah. you want perfection. Matter that's of perspective, part. but yeah. that's what she brings out, like the other perspective. So that's what I really enjoy about her. All right. So the last time you broke the law was. Ooh, I'm a very goody goody boy. I'm like I don't break the law. I, I yes. stand in line. I don't cut lines. Yes, very. Um, I can't think of the last time I broke a law. Okay. Well, I'm gonna if I'm trying uh. to break the rules. No, you should not do that. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I follow right. the rules. <laughs> uh, so on a scale of one to ten, how good is Lemmy? As a entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, yeah, I would say uh, nine point five. Okay, I don't as know. a friend, as a friend, uh, to me or to anybody? No, just to in you? general. You see her like, with me or with other friends. You see her with her friends. How good is she? Do you think as a friend? I would give her uh, an eight because I feel like she could make more time for her friends, and that goes for me also because she's like she wants to always work, work, work for okay. everything. So I feel she could make a little bit more time. So the two is for improvement. Okay. As a girlfriend? Uh, 9.5. Mm. 0.5 ticket, no? I just because <laughs> 10 money, money, money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People go, there's no more room for improvement. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Telling lies? How good do you think is she in telling lies? If she ever has um, to lie about something, how, how well does she do it? I don't think she's ever lied to me, but if you have, then it's a no, definite... No, you, like, just in general. Oh, in you know, general. You make excuses to cover things yeah. up. So how good is she? Does she get caught? How good is she when she has to make no. things up? I would say 10. I don't... I'm, <laughs> I would say 10, <laughs> okay, But exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you've... I have never known you to lie. So either you're really good at it or you never lie. <laughs> so either way, you're a 10. So you, she gave, he gave you a 10. In There's no room for improvement. There's no room for yeah. improvement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last one. Keeping secrets? Uh, <laughs> keeping secrets? What? <laughs> yeah, not, not the best. She's not the best. Uh, she Secret gets, I don't know, but like, you get super excited and you want to tell people. Uh, I mean, oh. just yeah. like our relationship and the emoji as well. I asked her, like, you know. <laughs> so you give her like, what, two? On table? Probably, that's being generous as well. <laughs> she was generous. Yeah. Okay. But she's good at keeping secrets up for her friends and stuff, but uh, not not like something that makes her really excited. If I mean like that's a beauty guy like the sailor, but he like she was like I said, announce it when the anniversary comes and like somebody asked her a question, she just blurted it out. Like, oh, yeah, two percent, sorry, two percent. So I just said, just keep it there. Yeah. yeah. One on that. It's a secret boy, But I mean, it is a secret. You yeah. can't hold things inside yeah. you, okay? Yeah, you you just get too excited. Yeah. I keep that. Of course, but if it's that something is. that makes me excited, to practice yeah. something like okay. mm -hmm. Continuing with you, David. Yeah. So let's say if you had to make a matrimony ad for yourself. Okay? Mm -hmm. Forget that Lenny's in the picture right now. You're looking for a girl. Don't. And you, <laughs> you're about to post your matrimony ad on this really good, let's say, shabby.com or something. Okay. So design this ad for me. What would you put for yourself? Oh my. Um. Say that. Uh, does it involve a picture or just There's a word? picture and there has to be a paragraph that people paragraph. put up, okay? So how would you sell yourself in this matrimony ad? 16. Um, <laughs> uh, I would say... Tall. <laughs> okay, do you, want, do you want to make this ad for me? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, let me start. Huh? Huh? Make this ad for me. <laughs> I'm a very matured guy. 
Um, you don't have to do it in my voice. You can do it in your own voice. <laughs> <laughs> so my height is 6'2", and I'm very handsome, and I understand. Um, I'm very understanding, very supportive, very matured, and nothing's going to change. Be very sick of you. I'll still support you. You can still <laughs> go on, <laughs> carry on with your career. So I think that's the best part. Me, you, and Okay, so Tio, mm -hmm. but then uh, let's say you need, you want to put in requirements about the kind of girl that you like. You know, imagine when you're advertising. You are. Tim, you're born and Tim, you're How would I know that? <laughs> but now that part, you you fill us in on that part. Um, okay, uh, I would say somebody with a lot of energy. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, very, somebody calm, somebody mature, uh, oh, yeah, somebody, a yeah, a working girl, so independent, um, somebody who can take care of themselves, um, but will also let themselves be taken care, care yeah. of. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not very fussy, really. I'm oh, okay. uh, <laughs> just okay. somebody oh, who makes me happy. That's a good ad. All right, I think that's a pretty good ad. That would get you a lot of women, but sorry, David's taken. This is just for fun, okay? <laughs> Next question. One hidden talent that you have. A hidden talent that I have? Oh, um, I can blow bubbles with my spit, but that is not, that is not such a fascinating talent. No, it is. Talent. See, I'll show you my hidden talent. Look, this is a hidden talent. Oh, yeah. This uh, double is a hidden down. useless talent, <laughs> yeah. actually. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's why we keep it hidden, right? Yeah. <laughs> You can speak bubbles with your... Yeah, it's, okay. it's a weird, weird talent. All right, so what do you think? One trait that Lemmy has that you don't? Uh, oh, there's a lot of traits that I don't have that Lemmy has. Um, Give me one. The most powerful one that you think, that you wish that, oh, I wish I had this. Oh, she's very convincing. Okay. She's, like uh, she convinced you to come here? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's very convincing and... Uh, so anything like she wants, she, she knows how to get and I mean, bargaining, for example, in a shop or, in, you know, negotiating or anything. I mean, convincing me to do anything at all, she'll, she'll so see the good sides. you think you're kind of weak in that department? Uh, thanks for putting it that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember so, no, once I mean, we went to buy. I'm reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here that you look like a jewelry kid and there was this guy with really Kashmiri yeah. guy with really beautiful yeah. eyes. He was discounted not in your way. He said, I'm going to eat it. 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 He was like, oh my God, baby, I could never do that. <laughs> so it, was, it was true also. So you weren't lying. Yeah, and, yeah. I was know. not lying. Yeah. He was like, I was not lying. I was like, I was not lying. All right, so last one for you, David. If you can't sleep in the middle of the night, what is the first thing that you do? Watch football. <laughs> what? She said, watch football. Is that what you do? Um, it's generally why probably I'm not able to sleep in the first place. It's so Oh my God. Yeah, I, I sleep. It's me is uh, I'm not, yeah. Okay. I'm Love pretty sleep. easily. Falling asleep, but if if that ever happens, I I don't know. I I, I don't know if it's called meditation, but I just kind of sort of just try to not think of anything and just like be very blank and stare at like the darkness. And usually it helps. So I guess. Oh, I remember this one time. I said, "Man, neither lagging or whatever." I called him and I said, "Phone, man, neither lagging or whatever." I had seen that they had seen that at the dot text and the layer of the bullshit. And I fell asleep, and then she she fell. <laughs> David, I think you performed way better than that. Oh my god, the first segment. Excellent. You were calm, composed, to give your answers nicely <laughs> in a yeah. way that I could understand. Thank yeah. you. I didn't know what was coming. But there is one more segment, so again, you have a chance to win and redeem your points. So the last segment now so is. What do we get? <laughs> the gifts you get to know in the end. Starting with David this time. Ready? Yeah. Five things that you should not do on a date. Um, not bring flowers. Um, oh crap, this is quite difficult. Um, uh, I can only think of things that I have to do. Oh so that was the buzzer? Yeah, this is pretty difficult. So you got one point because you only right. answered one. Okay, yeah. So that's how it goes. Yeah, got it. Ready, let me? Calm. You have to be calm and think and give these answers, okay? Yeah. Five things that you do while getting ready before going on a date. Uh, look presentable. Um, smell good. Come on, you're doing good. Maybe you can take flowers for a <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got three. 
So this is the format. Let's get the pace up yeah. and let's try to get five for okay. each question, okay? Coming back to David, this might this one might be easy. Five favorite sitcoms. Uh, Friends, Modern Family, uh, Seinfeld. Um, oh crap! Why can't I think about it? Uh, Game of Thrones. Um, ah crap! <laughs> I couldn't oh, think man, of anymore. I'm oh sorry, chop chop. <laughs> 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 oh, <crap. laughs> I'm so sorry, Greg. Oh, <laughs> Okay, let me. Ready? Don't be nervous. Be relaxed. Because if you're nervous, you'll not be able to answer. Because be I know you very yeah. well. Be relaxed. Okay, this one should be pretty easy for you. Ready? Five things you hate to clean. Dishes. Luga. Uh, my dog's poop. <laughs> Garden. Floor. <laughs> I I anything. Anything, really. That's five. Right? That's five. So if you answer five for any question, you get double bonus. So you get ten points on that right. one. Oh, okay. You failed to mention this in the beginning. I, I thought I'd do it the second someone scored okay. the five and yeah. cheated it. Okay, ready. Five things that you cannot resist. Um, chocolate, football, uh, dates, um, oh, your show, apparently, uh, and uh, answering these questions. <laughs> Did you get it within yes. the buzzer? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Double so, points. That's 10 for you as well. Let me ready. Five other ways of saying making out. Um. Come on. Um, what? Flower missing. <laughs> okay, passing, passing the question to David. Are you ready? Five yeah. ways of saying making out. Kissing, smooching, snogging. A peck on the cheek or the mouth. Uh, oh crap, I've done. Oh, I can't think of the other one. <laughs> the kissing one. Should I say this? Should I not say this? You can. This is a completely uncensored show. You can say whatever you want. What's wrong with kissing? No, it's nothing. Are you ready? Lemme. Honey. You want some more water? Yeah, please. Should I take a break and get some water? Uh, no, it's okay. Can you carry on? Okay. Five things that you do on a rainy day that you love to do. No. Uh, Eat popcorn, watch a movie, um, cuddle. Um, what? Yeah. That was three? That was three. David, ready? Yeah. Five things that get better with age. Um, wine. Um, let me. <laughs> um, uh, what else? Terraces. Uh, <laughs> Terraces. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> okay, let me. Five foods that best describe you. Uh, tapakki, uh, somtam, uh, mango sticky rice, chatpate lafi. Good job. Said that with confidence also. Five things that you can fit in your pocket. Um, keys, uh, tissues, um, phone. Mm. What? <laughs> Five of David's favorite beverages. Um, beer. Uh, lemon, iced lemon soda. That's a lie. Coffee. <laughs> Don't count those. Just said how many. Okay. How many was that? She said three. Was uh, is all three your favorite? Uh, two. Lemon soda, I never drink. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets just two lying on the lemon soda. Okay, for you. Yeah. Name five Levy's lipstick shades. Oh, go getter, divine, bold, ambitious, driven. Wow. Okay, let me ready. Five ways to flirt with your eyes. Wink. Show it, show it, just show it. You have to say it. One, two, three. What was that? What? You froze <laughs> <was> like that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? How many was that? Three. Three. <laughs> she got three. The first was pretty good, and then it went wrong. Okay, that was a. That's quite scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, uh, without getting up, yeah. show us five dance moves. Ooh. Come on, one, um. two, um. three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five. Yay! Nice. Good job. Nice. Yeah. 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 
Lemmy, are you ready? What did I get myself into? <laughs> Why did I come here? Okay, ready? This was the flower dance. That was the flower dance, exactly. Let me ready? Yes! Show us five more. Come on! Five more! Five more dance moves oh. that he didn't show. Come on! One, two, three. Oh, he, he did, did that. Mm -mm. Two, did three, four. <laughs> <laughs> you got four. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> okay, David, ready? Yeah. Five body parts that you like to work out. Um, cool. Uh, legs, uh, well, calves, um, quadriceps, biceps, uh, triceps, and uh, abs. I'm a physio, by the way, so I can just name so them. Like <laughs> That's good. Lemmy, show me five faces that you would make while working out. <sighs> Come on. Two. Ah! Three. <laughs> three and a half. I was so mad. That was three and a half. It is okay. I think one of the flirting eyes should have been more than. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you both have two to left. Okay. The last two, okay? Uh, David, yeah. five excuses you'd probably make to leave a party soon. Uh, tired. Uh, football on TV. Uh, let me sick. <laughs> um, uh, work. Um, Okay, you got four. Let me, you can do this, okay? This one is pretty easy. Think about it. Ready? Five things that you can cover in chocolate. Uh, strawberries. <laughs> David? <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you know what <laughs> strawberries, uh, bread. <laughs> Girl, you just got two. I yeah. thought you would name this. No. You said David. You can cover David in chocolate. <laughs> I can cover everything in chocolate. Exactly. Well, you should have said everything in chocolate. <laughs> Ready? David, your last one? Yeah. Five names you call Lemmy with love. Uh, baby. Uh, babes. Uh, Maya Lu in the very beginning. Yeah. Um, uh, Lem. Uh, and Lemmy, her name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll give that to you. Last question for you, Lemmy. Five names you call David with love. Baby. Um. Baby Boo, Maya Lu, Maya, um, I only call you Boo. Yeah. All right, you got Mostly. four. Okay, that's the end of this uh, segment. You both did pretty well. I think it's going to be quite a close call, but let's wait for the scores. Mm -hmm. All right, Lemmy, you have 44 on 100. Well done. You, on the other hand, have 68. Nice. Yay! Ooh, really? Yeah. Okay. David is the winner. Thank so you. So here is your hamper, although it has oh. things for the both of you. So Thank I you very much. So there are some things uh, from Genjun, one of our title sponsors. There's FIMO. Do you have, guys have nice. FIMO account? Yes, definitely. So yep. you have 50 points each for the both of you. Nice. Uh, there's a kurta offer for you from... Amira? Wait, I thought I won. That's what you said. What's going on here? No matter who won, this is just going collectively uh, oh, to interesting space. Thank you. And uh, also, yep. if, maybe if you can take a look at the picture. Yes. And also, with COVID still around, we want you to take care. So this For is a care pack sure. Thank you. you from Aura. Oh, no, thank well. you. Thank you. All right, thank you guys for taking time to come to my show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. Certainly did. Yeah, we did. Thank You're not you. as nervous as you were in the beginning. I'm not, and the food is here, so I'm less nervous now. <laughs> yes, so uh, the food here is sent from Fimo, and today we have pizza from Roadhouse, veg Mexicana, because this one here is a veg. So we're going to enjoy our food. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for all the love. Keep watching. Bye. Bye.